this has been a very transformative year for SBS. Mm. So before we get into the details, what impact has this year had on you and on SBS? Um, hmm. Personally, the impact, uh, Financially, uh, <laughs> um, the personal impact it has, it helped. Look, the start of this year, the whole reason we made Lost Sex Tape Stripper Party, and even no disrespect, was to see if we can make some money off of Tubi. Let's mm. see, all these Tubi movies are doing all this stuff for independent filmmakers. So let's see if we can get some skin in the game and we can, you know, make something happen. And it was. It was so important for me because of the place I was in in my personal life. You know what I'm saying? I was fucked up. I was in a very much terrible situation uh, personally. So it um, it meant a lot for me. And I just, I at the beginning of the year, I just, I bet everything I had. I bet every last dollar that I had. I bet every cent. And I, I you know what I'm saying? I said, if it doesn't work out, then... That's when, and I turned 30 this year. So it's like, that's when I'm going to have to, I'm going to re- have to readjust and reevaluate what the fuck I'm doing with SVS. Once again, not coming to a complete stop, but it's going to be like, all right, nigga, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to get a job. You're going to have to actually, you know what I'm saying? Um, make some, some different types of plans to, to do this. So the impact that it had for me personally was it panned out, you know what I'm saying? It actually worked. It actually got me out of the fucked up situation that I was in and it, you know what I'm saying, to help me whew, help me get in a different place uh in life personally. Um with SVS, it's just the the notoriety to the eyes, like the eyes that I now have on SVS and the the uh the bargaining power that I have with SVS now because of the viral moment with um no disrespect but it's like i can't even just attribute it to no disrespect. It was a time like during June and July I would be getting DM'd about a movie. And at that time, No Disrespect was going crazy. So I'm like, I'm thinking they're talking about No Disrespect. But they would be talking about Stripper Party. And they would be talking about, like, Lost Sex Tape. And even fucking social. Like, mm. different people were coming to me about movies. It's like I was assuming everybody was coming to me about No Disrespect. But they were coming at me about, like, a bunch of different of my films. So it was like... You know what I'm saying? It made me feel fucking great. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> not because in my eyes, I'm like, okay, everybody's just following me and thinking about no disrespect and stuff. But I think no disrespect brought people to SVS. Like, they brought people to um, the other, my other films and stuff and made, you know, them want to watch more and whatnot. So it's the, the eyes that I now have on SVS and the bargaining power that I now have to be able to you know, say SVS has done this and SVS is this. And there's so many people, like I was literally on a, a date with a girl and um, like I'm telling her about, you know what I'm saying, what I do and stuff. And I was like, do you, have, do you ever seen this clip of, you know, this nigga uh, <laughs> doing this, <laughs> this this bullet? She's like, oh my gosh, yes, I watched it so many times. I was like, well, yeah, you know, it's my film. <laughs> 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 my God. I didn't say it like that, but I, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, well, yeah, you know, that's me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what? Uh, I'm, zip- oh, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> no, but it was just it was it's that's super cool. There's so many people. I was still live driving at this time when um when when no disrespect was going crazy and this nigga got in the back of my seat and said, Man, I know you. It's like, nah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I picked him up from the hood and it's a hood nigga. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know yeah. you nigga. Nah, you milk, bro. I was like, what? Get the fuck out of my car. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck, bro, just out of all the Tubi movies, and um, to remember, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You could watch a Tubi movie, but to remember the mm-hmm. movie is more so the you know the the kicker. So just to have that actually happen, he was just going on talking about the film and like you know what I'm saying? he actually watched. You know, a lot of people say they watched it, but no, he's recounting like shit that happened in the film. He said, "Yeah, me and my girl love that film. We didn't watch it like three times this year." And I'm just like, "Damn, but that's that's really nuts to me because that's one of the first times that's ever normally that happens with." like my actors and stuff like they'll get recognized and noticed and stuff but that's i think really i'm gonna say that's the first time that's ever happened to me personally like noticing me like from the the actual character and stuff so definitely just the, the eyes that i have on svs now is um is bigger and better nice 
been trying to reach new heights, yeah.